so this is a bob wig by nadula hair and this is 12 inches it is a seven by five inch lace this is their new bye bye knot wig which means the knots already come pre-bleached and it comes pre-plucked so i did not have to do anything to this wig it literally came as is the bob was pre-cut as well and the lace was also pre-cut so it is perfect for beginners i decided to put crimps in it because i just wanted to give it a little bit more life like i could have just wore it straight but i think crimps just really bring out the bob like i don't know it's just really cute and i just really love how it turned out if y'all are interested in purchasing this wig i will leave a link in the description box down below and they also will be having a black friday sale this week on friday so make sure you guys go and check it out if y'all are interested in purchasing this wig or any other wig that they are offering on their website welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be installing this bob wig by nadula hair this is a 7 by 5 inch closure wig and it is in 12 inches so this is their bye bye knots wig which means that this the knots on this wig are pre-bleached and the wig is also pre-plucked so literally it's just a wig that you throw on and install it however you want to install it today i'm going to be installing mine with ebon wonder lace adhesive spray um i just love using this spray to install my wigs it just lasts it doesn't last as long as if you would use a glue but it does last quite a bit of time if i do three layers of this which i'm doing three layers today it will last me about three days and if i do four layers it'll last me four days and so forth so on so i'm just spraying this on my forehead near my hairline and i like to do three, three layers of this like i said the first two layers i let them dry completely and then the last layer i just go ahead and i add the lace into the spray so i'm just placing the lace into the spray and being very careful because once it sticks y'all it'd be hard to get it back up so make sure you get it where you want exactly where you want it to go before you stick it down um and then i'm going to take this rat tail comb and i'm just kind of pressing the lace in just to melt it a little bit more and just making sure that it sticks so I decided that I wanted to do baby hairs, which this is definitely optional. If you don't want to do baby hairs, you can skip this step. Um, but I decided that I wanted to do them. So basically, I'm just taking my comb and I just round out a part where I want my baby hairs to go. And I just twist them up to get them out of the way. And by the way, this is a 7 by 5 inch lace. So basically, the perimeter around my hairline, um, the lace is 7 inches. And then the parting from front to back is 5 inches. So then I'm going to take this Trust My Hairspray and I'm just going to spray it on my edge comb and just comb my edges back just to make the edges a lot more sleek. And then I'm going to take my elastic band that I got from Amazon and I'm just going to tie the lace up just to get it super melty and just look very natural. Um, and I need my wigs to be flat so I'm just going to go in on the top and hot comb the wig down. I like to hot comb in sections. It just makes it a lot more flatter in my opinion. And I'm using She Is Bomb Wax Stick. I put that on the roots and then I go over it with my Andy's Hot Comb on the hottest setting. And underneath my wigs, I like to do braids. I just feel like it makes the wig super flat. Unless you can get your real hair like really, really flat in a ponytail. But other than that, I would suggest doing braids. I saw a post on Instagram that said, if you want your wigs to be super flat, you need to have no less than six braids. The smaller your braids, the better, the flatter your wig is going to be. So you want to make sure your foundation underneath your wig is flat so that your wig as a whole can be flat as well. 
started off taking no bother. I woke up the following day and went harder. I'm cracking my shit. I didn't see that on Sparta. I gotta get money. I go to get charter. I can do a four burgers and one small startup. I can't let them down off around with my bottle. So to do my baby hairs, I like to cut them with a razor. I just like how cutting them with a razor looks because with scissors, they just come out a little bit too like straight and like the cut is too blunt. So I'm just using a razor and I just kind of cut them at a slanted angle and then I clean up whatever I didn't get with the razor with my scissors. And then I take my edge comb and I just lay my baby hairs and get them how I like them. I'm kind of just going in a C motion. Doing baby hairs is pretty, I don't know, it's just something you have to watch. But I'm just going in a C motion and I'm just, I just keep doing it until I get them how I want them to look. And sometimes if I feel like they are a little bit too long, I just go in with some scissors and just cut excess off. And everybody's style of baby hairs are not the same. Some people like them to be smaller. Some people like them to be bigger. You just do them how you want to do yours. And then I'm taking this Trust in My Hairspray and I'm just kind of dabbing at the baby hairs just a little bit to keep them molded and in shape. And then I tie them down with my elastic band. So I decided that I wanted to put crimps in this hair. Um, I could just straighten it like a regular bob, but I thought that crimps would be really cute. So I'm just using this ion crimp which I will link in the description box down below and I'm basically just crimping my hair it didn't take long at all because this hair is so short it took like probably 10 minutes to do my whole head probably less than that um and I basically just crimped my whole head So after I do that, I just take this little e.l.f. eyeliner. It comes in this little pot, and I'm just using this little brush to kind of thin out this part a little bit, get rid of like the overly bleached knots on where the part is. Um, and then I take my LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is in the color Warm Honey, and I'm just using a slanted angle brush to go down the part and get it super straight. And then I'm using this makeup. This is Maybelline Fit Me in the color Coconut and this little fluffy brush. And I'm just tapping the lace to get it to match my skin tone a little bit better. And this is the finished look. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs>